Hi, this is Rizwan from Cybertech Lighting. It's October the 2nd, 2020. I hope everyone is well and safe. Uh, I wanted to go over how to install a motion sensor within our new generation of UFOs. This is a low voltage motion sensor and it is, it is set with a remote. We actually do the set, we do install and do the settings for you. You give us the parameters, but in case you wanted to do the settings and buy the remote separately, then you can do that as well. So I wanted to go over how to do that. So basically the, the motion sensor is in the center. This is our 150 watt UFO unit. It comes in several different sizes. Um, so we're gonna just unscrew this cap, shorting cap, basically empty. This has got the motion sensor in it. We're gonna screw that in, just place it right over and softly screw it. You don't wanna over tighten, but just tighten until it stops. And then, and then we're gonna be setting it with the, uh, with the remote. I'm gonna go over this remote. This is a Heisen product. It gives you an instruction sheet, giving you what all the buttons mean and how to do this. It also gives you a section where it's preset, which is called scenes, and you can then just choose those particular preset scenes, meaning that the different settings and point to it and set it according to what they have preset. But if you're gonna go and do it yourself and you're gonna set it the way you want, here's where you, you, you do. Now, this is an IR uh, motions uh, or IR um, remote. And so you've got to point it to the unit uh, the first button is an on and off, and that's just an on and off to turn on the light and, and off the light. You needed to do that with the, with this. Um, it's not for setting. It has two other buttons up on top, which we're going to use for setting. It's called reset and auto mode. Auto mode is done at the end, and reset is when you're starting to do the setting. Um, so this has the scenes we covered, uh, buttons which are in the yellow. Then. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the reset button and then we're gonna choose the detection area. And the reason for choosing a detection area is because this is a microwave motion sensor which goes through wood and goes through cardboard and so forth. And you might wanna limit that detection area and also depends on how your application, if it's too low, you wanna reduce it. so You don't catch too much motion from far away. So you've got the detection area and the buttons are starts from the blue, all the buttons across are functional from the blue on. Blue is at 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. That's a detection. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna point toward, towards the unit, hit the reset. We're gonna choose the first section, which is, let's say we choose 50% detection. Then we're gonna to go to the next buttons section, which is called the hold time. The hold time is how long the unit stays on once it, it detects motion. So the first detection of motion, it gives you number of different settings since it's an electronic, five seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. So you choose that, any of those. Again, it starts from the blue button. You can use the blue button as one of the settings. Uh, then, it, then you have another setting, which is called the standby. The standby is where you can have the unit at a dim level for a certain amount of time. So on the standby, there's two settings. One is the percentage you want it to dim, and then the second one is the time you want that dimming to happen. So the percentages go from the blue button, which is 10, 30, uh, sorry, 20, 30, and 50 all the way across all the different buttons. So you've set it, I'm gonna set it at let's say 10 or 20, and then it also gives you how long you wanna hold that time, which is a standby time. It gives you zero, 10, 30, one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, and it also gives you a un unlimited minute. So you can set it where it just stays at that level. So you could, let's say someplace you need light, put it at 10% and you leave it on all the time. Another thing that this particular product has is a daylight harvesting function. So it has a sensor for daylight harvesting and that's set by Lux. And the Lux are multiple Lux on there. Uh, two Lux, 10 Lux, 30 Lux, 50 Lux, 80 Lux, 100 Lux, and you can disable the Lux. The Lux basically means that if it's at 10, um, 
Any time that goes below 10, which is like at nine, it will turn on. That is very little light, so you don't want it to get too dark, so you want to use the Luxung functions that are on the higher side. This can distinguish the light of its own from the Lux, uh, Lux uh, light or external light, since it's right below the unit light or uh, chips. So basically, we're going to set it real quick. I'm, I've got it set up on a quick connect. I'm going to plug it in. Turns on. We're going to set this. So here's the remote. First thing we're going to do is we're going to point it towards it, and we're going to turn it off. Oops, off and on. Okay. So then you're going to hit the reset button. When you hit the reset button, you'll see it dim down. So it's starting to communicate with us. We're going to set it at 50%, and you see it dim down. Then we're going to set it at five seconds as the hold time. And then I'm going to put it at 20% as a dim. And then I'm going to set it at 10% as or 10 seconds as the standby time. And I'm going to disable the, the, um, the daylight function. You see that it, and then I'm going to hit the auto mode. So every time you, you saw it dim down, which it kind of accepted your motion or accepted your settings when it dims. So I'm going to try not to move. Well, let me do that. I'm going to first turn it off. Oh, there it goes. So it's functioning already. I'm going to turn it off real quick. I'm going to plug it back in and you'll see it now. I'm going to try not to move so it doesn't catch my motion. And you'll see it go to the first thing. We set it at five seconds to dim down. It dims down to 20%, I believe. And then it's going to, after 10 seconds, turn off. There it goes. So that's pretty much how you set it. Um, I hope that is clear and it helps. Thank you very much.